is that was rough sawn wood that you saw there. Okay. And then they're sanded down to about an eighth of an inch. All right. And then they're bent. I into... would imagine you have to steam them to bend them. No, is these are bent dry. They're bent There's dry. no steam used. Steam makes wood have a memory. Eventually, it will go straight again. Is that right? These are bent with heat, and they're bent dry. And now what you makes see, them hold the shape? Uh, well, when you they... heat the wood up, the and, and particularly rosewood, rosewood's kind of an easy wood to bend because it's very tarry. Uh -huh. And when you heat the wood up, it melts the tar in the wood, and it also softens the wood fiber so you can force it into this shape and it uh -huh. will stay that way. I bent these when I was 17 years old. I'm 39 now, and they've been bent this way all these years. Is that right? Yeah. Now, I, I, you could see there's, they're out of shape, and I did that for a reason. Um, I use these in a lecture series that we do in colleges, and I did it to show that you can, make the, you can bend these things into almost any configuration you can think of, but I did this for a reason so you could see how much you could spring this. See this? Yeah, it's marvelous. It's like, it? a, it's like a piece of steel, you know, it's like, yeah. it's incredibly strong. So I did that for that reason, so you could show the spring. So this is Brazilian rosewood. This mm -hmm. is a different kind of rosewood than the Indian. The pore structure is different, and the weight per cubic foot is different. Mm -hmm. Now, so you then, put that together, okay, and... These are bent into the particular shape that we're going to uh, make the guitar. Mm -hmm. After they're bent, this happens to be a cutaway uh, guitar, which this, the 